Pruitt LeDuc has been drag racing her entire life. However, here in 2011, she has finally begun seeing some results on the sport's biggest stages. Our cameras will follow as she prepares for her ultimate goal, driving a Nitro Funny Car in the NHRA. A rising young star with the drive to be the best and prove doubters wrong, here's our latest installment of hard work and dedication with Leah Pruitt LeDuc. Drag raced basically my entire life since I was eight, but that's from home and with your family, and there's a big difference between just doing that and then making it your entire life. What was once a hobby is now a full-time profession, and as a young face in a sport filled with elder statesmen, Leah is looking to carry drag racing into the future. You know, the younger generation drivers, we do need to help bring the NHRA into this other phase with a new audience or a growing audience because things can't be the same. We're here, you know, to make ourselves successful in a sport and to make this sport grow because that, to me, NHRA is, is the world. Leah's world recently changed after signing a deal with R2B2 Racing. But with little professional driving experience on her resume, some critics may be questioning the move. You know, if you really pay attention to how someone like myself you know, how I'm getting to accomplishing my goals it really has nothing to do with how I look. I at least want to be able to know what's going on with the race car and how to work on it and have intelligent conversations with my crew and crew chief. And one of the aspects that really drove me to the mechanical side is that the more you know about the race car, the better driver you're able to be. Let her move out of the starting gate for Leah. Here comes the turbo entry, but at the finish line stripe, it's going to be Leah, Pruitt LeDuc. And while Leah has fought hard to earn respect in the sport, no opinion was more important than that of veteran racer and new teammate Melanie Troxel. I've seen Leah out around the track for quite a few years, but didn't actually meet her uh, until she was coming on board with the team. And uh, it was kind of nice when I first got the chance to talk to her to really um, get to know her and, and find that I found a lot of similarities between the two of us. I'm kind of looking to her like a big sister, and I think that's a really cool dynamic, and that's something I would have I would have never expected to be teammates with Melanie Troxel in Pro Mod and maybe someday in a funny car. The list of good first impressions does not stop with Troxel. Longtime crew chief John Medlin has also seen promise in the young racer. Uh, what I find in Leah, she's got what, what I can see as a ojo de la tigre. It means the eye of the tiger. We're getting myself ready as a driver for when the situation comes to start a second team with John Medlin as a crew chief that we can just hit the go button and enter a race and get the team together and, you know, start competing. I think she's got a very sensitive feel for the race cars. We see that in the pro mod. She's able to guide the car down the racetrack. She does a very good job, so uh, it's all very optimistic right now. I think she's going to be a bright star in NHRA's future. Success in full throttle drag racing seems imminent for Leah. However, even she is having a hard time believing the future starts now. You want something for so long and you strive for it and it's all you work for for years and years. And when it finally happens, you don't, I don't know, everyone else has seen it. They're like, hey, this is really cool. What you want is finally happening. And I'm like, it is? Are you sure? Because I don't know. I'm, I'm still coming to reality to it. And just, it's, um, I'm excited for it. Want to see more Full Throttle TV? Check us out online anytime at NHRA.com.